Hello, it's Rudy at Club and Painting Studio. Hope everybody's well. Um, this video is going to have a little look at um, washes and a couple of steps that we can take to improve the results. Um, I did an earlier video, um, which I'll try and link to, and this talks about Army Painter's range of quick shade washes um, and the different colour variations you get um, within their um, set. This video is going to look more at um, how we can get a better overall result from one wash that we're applying liberally to a model. Um, I imagine this technique is sort of useful if you have, for example, 24 French line infantry. Um, I have a, a grenadier made from the Victrix uh, middle guard set here. And you want to get that 24 on the table um, as quickly as possible. We're going to initially just apply Arm Painter Strong Tone to this model, let it dry, have a look at the results of that. We'll see what we think and I'll see if I can recommend a couple of little changes we can make to um, the process of applying washes um, to improve the overall result. Um, so this model's just had the base colours applied, um, no dry brushing, no highlighting, um, just base colours applied to the different areas. Um, and we are ready to apply the wash. Um, I've got a fairly um, battered old brush here. Strong tone, um, straight from the bottle, onto my palette, um, and now we will um, just apply this. Um, we want to stop it pooling, but otherwise a liberal application. Okay, um, we have applied our layer um, of strong tone. I'm going to leave the model probably um, for at least 30 minutes to see um, how that has dried. Well, I think I missed this a little bit in the centre of the shako. That's better. And our wash is dry. The strong tone has run into the recesses. Um, which helps to define um, the different areas of the model um, against one another. There's a nice bit of lining around the, the cross straps, for example. And we've got some definition um, round about the um, recesses on the greatcoat. Just adding a bit of shadowing there. Um, a bit of shading round about the face as well. Um, let's have a, a comparison for a second um, against the an unwashed miniature. So we can see how the application of the wash really um, adds depth and distinguishes the the borders of each um, different um, colour of paint on the, the model. Um, however, I think that the cross straps um, and trousers um, have ended up um, a bit muddied, a bit brown in colour. Um, and on the jacket, it's maybe a bit blotchy um, in places there as well. So, how can we improve on the appearance um, with our wash? Um, Ari Painter do a quick shade wash mixing medium that's designed to help dilute down um, their washes. And this helps to leave less uh, staining because the coloured pigments are, are spread further out in the solution. Um, and it does help improve the, the flow a bit as well, I find. Um, so we'll apply that in the same manner as the wash. Um, we'll leave that to dry and then we'll compare the two models again after that. So our mixture is two parts wash um, to one part medium. And once again, we're going to um, liberally apply this over the model. When it's mixed up, um, it's sort of a, a, a milky colour almost. Um, the wash medium is a cloudy white and when you mix that in um, it does end up looking um, a bit curdled. But don't worry, it, that it, part of the solution dries transparent and won't be noticeable. Another 30 minutes have expired and we've got um, our second Grenadier dry. Um, if we look particularly at the white of the cross straps, we can see that there's less uh, pooling there. It's not quite as muddy looking. Um, and I think at the back of the model, 
Um, it's particularly more telling um, that we've got less um, muddiness in the um, recesses. That's the first one we did. So the back of the great coat there, um, quite deep and dirty looking, um, and less dirtiness on the model on uh, the left as we look at it that had the um, medium mixed in with the wash. So we've, we've still got the good um, definition between um, the colours, but we've reduced the, the muddiness um, of the wash. Um, one final thing we can do um, to really control the, the flow of the um, wash away from the flat surfaces um, is to apply a gloss varnish um, to the model um, before we put the wash on. Uh, once again, I'm going to use the um, wash uh, with the added medium and I'll paint that on and have a comparison in another 30 minutes. Um, for those interested, the varnish I have used is from uh, AK Interactive, their gloss varnish. Here's our third and final comparison then. Um, we, the first model on the left which just had the strong tone wash. Middle, strong tone wash, two to one mix with the quick shade mixing medium. Third model, that same mix um, but over the, the gloss varnish. Um, and what we can hopefully see on the final model is that the staining is a, is a lot more uh, subtle. And the reason being is that the gloss varnish has given us a, a smoother surface um, for the wash. So it doesn't stick to the surfaces as much um, and has an improved flow. Granted, there's not a huge difference between the middle and the final one. And I think that across a full unit, perhaps, this is going to be a, a step too far. Um, but you are getting the benefit from the gloss varnish of it protecting the paintwork. Not so vital perhaps on a plastic model, but certainly in a metal model, um, a layer of gloss varnish would be really helpful to protect paint from chipping off during games. So it's possibly a worthwhile step. And if you are thinking of varnishing, it may be worthwhile to consider doing it before you apply a, a wash rather than simply at the end of the process. You might get a little bit of added benefit from it. I hope this has been a, a useful video. Um, if anybody's got any comments or other suggestions on um, how to improve washes, um, please leave them below. Um, if you've liked what you've seen, please give it a like and subscribe. And hopefully be back soon with some more content for you. Thank you. Bye-bye.